50 cases a day. That's the latest figure from Zimbabwe on its typhoid crisis. The bacterial disease is transmitted by contaminated food and water. And Zimbabwe is struggling. It has a barely adequate sanitation system. And the fear is that this latest outbreak could spread very quickly. At a press conference, the country's Minister of Health issued a stark warning. Most boreholes have been noted to be contaminated, to be contaminated with enteric coliforms and reticulated water has also failed the quality tests in some instances. So I urge you, if you're going to drink Harare water, boil it. But boiling water or using additives is a luxury that most simply cannot afford. The government insists that no one has died from the outbreak. But at least one woman is claiming that her family members have lost their lives as a result. I'm not feeling well now. I'm not doing well at the moment. My sister-in-law and my niece died because of typhoid the week before last. The key to stopping the disease is to improve the country's infrastructure. Zimbabwe says it will use $40 million of IMF money to do that, but that's a long way off. It was just four years ago that over 4,000 people died of cholera in an outbreak that affected 100,000 people. Fears that this typhoid outbreak could cause equal misery aren't far from Harare residents' minds, particularly when sanitation for so long has meant dumping rubbish in the street. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera.